That unfortunately. The Malarchic happened at the yard last night as the Sabres were playing the St. Louis Blues. Sabre defenseman Huey Krupp was riding St. Louis right winger Steve Tuttle into the goal. Malarchik went down and Tuttle's skate scraped against the goalie's neck. Sabres announcers Ted Darling and Mike Robitaille were horrified with what they saw. The story right now with uh, oh, oh, look at oh, boy. Take the off, oh, man. That is the oh, oh, God. Oh, please take the camera off. Oh, Don't even bring it over there, please. Oh, my God. Just keep it away. Oh, oh terrible. Oh, my, oh, my God, what happened? Fans were also horrified with what they saw. A six-inch gash in Malarchik's left, uh, next left, blood pouring out on the ice. Probably one of the most frightening things I've ever seen in doing hockey. I've been doing hockey for uh, the past 30 years now, and I have never seen a, a skate cut a player uh, like last night. And uh, thank goodness that the, at the right time they did uh, move the camera away after he did start to, to, to bleed in the goal crease. I've never seen so much blood in all my life. Well, that it's not as hard to watch as it might be, but it's something you may still find unpleasant, so be advised. Buffalo's U.A. Krupp and the Blues' Steve Tuttle collided with the Sabres goalie and almost immediately a wound was opened to Malarchuk's neck, a six-inch laceration that partially severed the jugular. He was to remain in hospital. The good news is he's out already and will wear a neck protector from now on. It was scary. I knew I got hit. I knew I saw the skate come up and I, I, I knew I got hit. And I checked. I got most of the, the knock it seemed like in the face and I, I put my hand up and checked for blood and uh, when I saw the blood I, I ripped my mask off and uh, I could see the blood squirting in front of my face with every, you know with my heartbeats and uh, so I knew I'd cut my juggler. After surgery to repair the damage last night, Malarchuk was up and about today. Actually, he's doing really well. He's, he can't stand sitting around, and he was up walking in the halls at about 7 this morning. He was just, as soon as they got that IV out, he was up and about. These all for me? Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Did you guys see these yourself? Yeah. These are beautiful. It didn't take long for the cards and letters to flood in, including a huge get well card from a local radio station. And Malarchuk's close call last night left these impressions. Just don't, you know, we shouldn't worry about little things in life. These kids are fighting every day, and, uh, and when you come close, it's scary. <laughs>